HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation informed town manager Norman Kamalu that the Fruit Street Bridge over MBTA slash Sudbury River should be open either late this week or early next week. Some great news about the Fruit Street Bridge. It is set to be open either late this week or early next week. A big thank you to Norman Kamalu for sharing the great news with us. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of HCAM News. I'm HCAM News Director Tom Nappy, here to fill you in with what's happening in Hopkinton. On today's edition of HCAM News, holiday festivities in town, the latest in Hiller sports, plus much more. But first, the annual Hanukkah menorah lighting took place at the Hopkinton Town Common. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, Hopkinson. Happy Hanukkah. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Um, this is our biggest group that I've ever seen, so that's very cool. Um, the 10 years that I've lived here. Um, so this has always just been kind of organized by families, not, nothing formal. So it's nice that everyone kind of comes together to support each other in kind of the spirit of our Hopkinson community, um, showing up for each other and celebrating. Uh, so it's great to have everyone's support group coming out, and I wanted to thank uh, Mike Cooper for setting up this beautiful menorah. Woo! It's great to me, but I understand it was built by a former Hopkinson resident? Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of been passed down. Mike, Mike's been putting this up for a while. Um, so I realize not everyone here might know Sorry. why we celebrate Hanukkah or what the menorah is all about. So my son Drew's going to give everyone a quick explanation. In the second century BC, a tyrant king ruled over the Jewish people and would not let them practice their faith. Jewish rebels led by Judah Maccabee fought for their freedom for three years and they were victorious. When they reclaimed the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, they, they, they dedicated the temple, but they only had enough oil to light the temple's land for one day. New oil would take days to equip, repair, but a miracle took place and the oil lasted for eight days. The word Hanukkah actually comes from the Hebrew word rededication. Hanukkah celebrations include games, food, songs, and of course, the lighting of the menorah. On each of the eight days of Hanukkah, one new candle will be lit on the menorah until the final day, when, when all eight candles are lit, um, symbolizing the, symbolizing the eight days the flame lasted in the Holy Temple. So we're going to go ahead and start with the prayers. Can any kids, maybe like 10 or older, or anyone who knows the prayers, come on up and maybe you can lead us?
takeout Hanukkah dinner tonight. They're also doing one tomorrow. Um, so if anybody wants to get a really good Hanukkah dinner, go see Lee at Chef on Main. Um, and if any families would like to do a night of lighting the menorah, uh, nights two through eight, come see me and I'll assign you a night. Um, it's really easy and for little kids it's really exciting to flip the switch and turn on the menorah. So that's about it. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. The Hopkinton Town Common was lit up for the holiday season and this past weekend was filled with many of all ages for the annual tree lighting and Hopkinton Girl Scouts caroling on the common. Here's a look at the festivities.
We are going to take a quick time out. A whole lot more HCAM news ahead. Don't go anywhere. HCAM news is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Actually, just the glory. We asked 100 fourth graders, what is a state in the western part of the United States? Come on, world map, where are you? Confident. confident. Very confident, apparently. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm Cindy Donda, and I'll see you there. Welcome back to HCAM News. Hiller Winter Sports got underway this week. Here's a look at what happened in our first broadcasts of the season. Hopkinton Hiller's Boys and Girls Swimming and Dive hosted Westwood at the Milford High School pool in the first home action of the Hiller winter season on Friday, December 8th. Here's a look at what happened. Westwood takes the win on the boys' side, 90-75, to while on the girls' side, the Hillers take the win, 90.5-83.5. to Hiller Boys Hockey was the road team at the New England Sports Center to take on Holliston on Monday, December 11th. The Hillers got things going in the first period. Oscar sends it towards Hayward. He was just wide. Top of the circle, now to the corner. Over to the right circle, it's put in! Wyatt Ian Tosca! The Hillers take advantage of the power play situation and they lead it one to nothing. A beauty of a shot by Wyatt Ian Tosca. Wyatt Ian Tosca makes it a one to nothing Hiller lead and that score stayed the same heading into the second period. We're doing battle, comes out with it. Shot from the high slot, it's in! What a shot there by Hayward! He finds the opening glove side, it's 2-0 Hillers! With it is Hayward. Hayward approaching, count it! What a goal, Hayward! Smooth moves up the ice by the defender. Pops it in, glove side, 3-0 Hillers at 2.22 left to go in the second period. Hillers just parading Hollison with shots right now. Around the net he goes, trying to sneak it in and he does! Wyatt Ian Tosca takes it around and 
lays it down for goal number four. Three more goals for the Hillers in the second period. They led four to nothing into the third period. Adams looking to approach, backhands it. Into the slot, there's a shot, and it is in! Goal, Hillers! Parker win! Hillers take the win by a final of five to nothing. The Hillers are now two and oh on the season. After starting off the season with a 1-0 road win on Saturday, December 9th over King Philip, they get the 5-0 win over Holliston on December 11th. The Hillers next host Ashland on Saturday, December 16th, 8 p.m. at the New England Sports Center. In the win over Holliston, Connor Merkel had his first career varsity goal and two assists and Wyatt Ian Tosca netted two goals in the victory. The select board recently approved a couple of town employee appointments. Here's a look. Requesting the board confirm the town manager's appointment of Augusto de Oliveira as our next custodial maintenance worker, the facilities department. He will be replacing Akil Reed, working under the direct supervision of the facilities manager. Uh, Augusto will perform routine custodial building and grounds maintenance, oversight of custodial activities for town buildings, and perform minor semi-skilled semi building repairs. And we're very confident that Augusto will deliver. Here's why. The references revealed that Augusto works very well under pressure. We're very busy here in Hopkinton, we should say. Uh, he works extremely well under f in a fast-paced environment uh, and did so especially when you worked in the food uh, industry. You were described to us as having a strong worth ethic and a go-to attitude and positive outlook. And that came out very clearly during the interview process as well. Uh, other references described Augusto as trustworthy, hardworking, and calm under pressure. And when we dug into your strengths, one of your references said you are very responsible and diligent. You are always looking for the next job. And I can tell you, Dave will have 10 more extra jobs for you. <laughs> um, our interview panel included Vasuda, Dave, and Kristin. Uh, and at this point, I will let Kristin or Dave add anything to our introduction of Augusto to the community. All right, and just for the record, Augusto prefers to be called Gus. Um, we had six candidates who applied for the position. We interviewed three and selected Gus for the position. Okay. I just want to uh, thank the suitor, <coughs> HR, for the support, um, filling the position. It's probably been open for six to seven months. Um, it's been hard to find good candidates. And I, I was confident when we uh, interviewed Gus, he's going to fit in well here. Uh, help out, which the facilities department needs needs quite a bit of help right now. So, so welcome aboard, and thanks to everybody who helped out. Sitting right next to you, um, Andrea was promoted to youth services supervisor. What does a children librarian do here in Hopkinton? Position works under the direction of the youth services supervisor, providing general library services for young library users and provide special library services such as story time, crafts, summer reading, and other creative programming to promote reading and enhance the lives of young library users. This is really a special position in the library as it is the first entry into <coughs> the library system for our young children. Um, our first round panel consisted of um, Jack Miller, young adult librarian, uh, Andrea Calibri, youth services librarian, and Jessica Leverance, benefits administrator. 
And second round panel was Don Alcott Miller, Youth and Family Services Director, Andrea again, Nancy Hill, the Library Services Director, and myself. Um, we had six candidates who applied. We interviewed three and narrowed it down to two for second round and selected Carly. Your journey to Hopkinton, what are you most excited about in terms of being here in Hopkinton and in this new role? So excited that um, to be with a very busy library, a library that um, is being really proactive about offering such a range of services to um, you know everybody in the community. Um, I a couple years ago I moved closer by. I live in the town of Upton, so I'm sort of like right up the street. So I'm excited to kind of ingratiate myself <coughs> into the community here. <laughs> The Hopkins in Public Schools Winter Concert Series is underway. Here's a list of the performances, which you can find on our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkins in High School Jazz Ensemble and Concert Band is set to perform Monday, December 18th, 7 p.m. at the Hopkins in High School Auditorium. You have the Hopkins in High School Chorus and Orchestra on Tuesday, December 19th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. And the Hopkins Schools Ensemble Chorus, orchestra, and band will perform Wednesday, January 24th, 7 p.m. at the Hopkinton High School Athletic Fieldhouse. Coming up on Saturday, December 16th at 2 p.m., the St. John's Annual Christmas Concert, the 24th Annual Christmas Concert. And this year they present the Southeastern Massachusetts Community Concert Band that is Saturday, December 16th at 2 p.m. over at St. John's Evangelist Church. A couple pictures of the week. The annual menorah lighting took place at the Hopkins in Town Common to kick off Hanukkah. In the photo are students from Hopkins in High School who attended the event. Another great photo here, courtesy of the Hopkins in Police Department. The Hopkinton Police Association hosted their annual senior dinner this past weekend. They had a great turnout with 150 seniors and some great raffle prizes. Upcoming town government meetings include on Thursday, December 14th at 7 p.m. We'll have the select board meeting live on HCAM TV. And on Monday, December 18th at 7 p.m., we'll have the planning board meeting live on HCAM TV. To view all upcoming town government meetings, head over to hcam.tv slash gov. And for more information, you can head to the town website at hopkintonma.gov. Believe it or not, we are out of time for this edition of HCAM News. But don't worry, next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., we will be back. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. As always, we thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.